Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play AC Milan in Football Manager 2018. And since last game, that sensational game away versus Juve, we played a few games. First, we managed to take three points versus uh, Atalanta in the league. Then we got, got knocked out uh, against Fiorentina in uh, the Italian Cup. And then we were ace up, up against the Fiorentina again. And yeah, we only managed to get a draw at home in the league. And I'm very displeased with this result. I mean, in the cup, I don't care much about the cup. I was like rotating using youth plays and so on. So that was to be expected. But I'm very disappointed with, with this result because I really felt like we could have been able to beat them. Today, though, we're up against a big club. We will play away versus Roma. And if you take a look at the league table, Currently, Roma is just one point, one single point away from a spot in the Champions League. And at the same time, if they beat us, they won't be too many points uh, behind us. So they are having a pretty decent season and they have the chance to get a really, really good finishing position in the league here. But, uh, I mean, we can't let that happen, can we? Because uh, we want to try to hunt you, uh, not fight to survive uh, for the Champions League spots. But uh, it's not going to be easy. It's definitely one of the harder away games of the season. Everybody needs to be playing on top if, um, if we're going to be able to beat them away. And um, we're actually in a pretty good situation right now. I think everybody is fit. Um, yeah, they are. We have been struggling a bit with uh, Romagnoli. This is his comeback. He's on the bench now, but he's been been out for for uh, quite a few games. But uh, other than that, we are fine, and I mean we are fine because he's back, and that's uh, what we needed. So this is the Roma team we're up against, of course, with Jack up on top and Rossi and Strutman and Pellegrini, and uh, yeah, pretty strong team here, and they have their home advantage. But uh, we are AC Milan. We are here to win it. As always, going to start attacking, trying to um, trying to basically show them that uh, we are here to win, and uh, that's all we care about. But of course, when I say cocky things like that, football manager usually ends up making me cry, and um, that will probably happen today. Because, you know, whenever I say things like that, it's always, always, always go bad for us. But let's see here. Is the, is the first intro highlight probably is going to be a quickie. And yeah, that's it. So let's see here. Oh, here is a free kick. Soso for Biglia. Biglia back to Soso. And, oh my god, this is a perfect start here. Dream start. Locatelli with an early goal there. And Soso with the assist here. Let's take a look at the replay. So, a uh, bit surprising that he didn't try to hit it into the box, the free kick. But finds Biglia, and that's, I would say, some bad defending. Two guys runs up to Biglia, forgetting about Soso, and uh, that basic set up for, for the goal. But here is, uh, or maybe we can turn it around, because here is Bonventura for Silva in the middle. And he sets up Locatelli. My god, Locatelli doesn't score often, but uh, that could be his uh, second one tonight. The young... Uh, Deep lying playmaker. Miss Roma with the corner though. And oh my god, it's going to be a nightmare. It's a penalty given, and uh, that was exactly what Roma needed to get back into to the game, and definitely not what we wanted. I felt it was unnecessary also, because I didn't think he was. Uh... Oh my god, that was a perfect penalty for, for him. Like straight up the top corner. No goalkeeper in the world saves uh, saves those. But yeah, yes, I felt like it was unnecessary. I don't think he would have reached the ball if we uh, wouldn't have fouled him. So uh, just ended up giving them a goal away. And that's um, not what we need. Especially when we are playing a tougher away games. Because, uh, I mean, we need to play everything perfectly if, you, if you're going to take three points away. It's also, and he gets another try, Kessie. Locatelli, beautiful pass here for Conte, into the box, it's Silva, and look at that, Andre Silva with a perfect header, and a nice cross there by Conte, Lucchesi, 
for Locatelli. This time he doesn't score. This time he's part of the build-up. Conte with a perfect cross. Weak defending there, leaving Silva very much uh, alone. And if you give him space like that, it's usually good news for us. And we are getting closer and closer to, to half time here. Will we go to the half time with a with a one goal lead? It looks like we will. Come on, ref. Where is the high half time whistle? There it is. But still, I'm um, I'm a bit disappointed by by the penalty. We definitely shouldn't have given it away. The lads needs to know that's not as acceptable in in the AC Milan. And uh, is there anything you want to think about? I mean. We're not playing that great if you look at the ratings here. I mean, you see Silva and Locatelli with, uh, and, and also Donnarumma with like solid seven plus, but most of the team is somewhere between like six, six and, and six, nine. And that's not good enough if, uh, if you want to be the team that are trying to reach for the title. And uh, it's clearly that we aren't a team that can reach for the title yet. I mean, we're not that many points behind, but, I mean, just that, that draw we did last round versus Fiorentina, while Juve wins, I mean, it all adds up. Like, you were taking, like, almost winning it all the time. And as soon as we lose this a point or two, this, that means that they are catching in. And here is Roma again. Incepted, though. Here's Kessie. Locatelli, Biglia back to Kessie. Kessie with a very optimistic pass. And it's intercepted by Roma. It's uh, Pellegrini. Come on, guys. Focus. We can win it back. Yes, we can. If Kessie wins it back. But what will you do from here? Locatelli. Guys, you need to show yourself. Like Silva here. Here's Andre Silva. And, well, it went slowly, slowly, slowly past the post, unfortunately. And that's a potential injury on Silva. We're not taking any risks here. Uh, as long as we can avoid it. We're going to bring in uh, Kalnick. Kalnick actually was garbage in last game, uh, the, the Fiorentina game. I think I subbed him with like a 6.3 rating or something like that. So I'm really hoping he can step it up here in uh, in this game. Get some rematch because uh, he was bad. Really, really bad. Rodriguez with a throw in. We are moving a bit in the wrong direction, but um, as long as you take safe passes, I'm okay with it. Uh, if you are down to this part of the... Oh my god! Why did I say things like that? Because then always my guys decide to screw up. Why? Why? That was so bad. I'm betting it's going to be a goal. It's going to be a goal. It's certainly going to be a goal. You know it, I know it, everybody knows it. And, oh my god, it's just outside the post. Oh my god, that was so bad. I shouldn't say things like I did talking about, like, not screwing up, making easy passes. Because then you know the lads, they love, they just love to make me cry. So, yeah, I shouldn't be talking about things like that, should I? But I think it's time for another sub. Let's see who's having a bad day at work. Kessie actually is playing pretty bad. Same with Bonventura. Kessie, though, is a little bit more tired. I mean, Locatelli's tired really, with that 8.7 rating. No way we're going to sub him. I think Kessie, we're going to go with Kessie. Let's bring in... Actually, I think this timing for uh, Fellaini. I was thinking about Barrow because he's young. I want him to play. But he's a little bit more attack-minded. With Fellaini, we can bring him as a ball-winning midfielder. And maybe that's what we need in a, in a situation like, like this. Biglia with a free kick, remember we scored from a free kick in, in the first half. So maybe something can come out of this. Or Soso. Back to Biglia. And of course Soso was involved in, in that free kick also. So maybe, maybe, well, a bit optimistic. Uh, I'm glad we, we tried to get to a shot just outside the box. But uh, didn't put uh, Alisson in, in the Roma goal and under too much pressure, did it? And we have time for one last sub here. And I guess Soso is dying. He did get that assist, but other than that, he haven't done much. So let's bring in Berardi. 
Sosa was actually garbage during the last game also. Not sure, but a lot of players that played like garbage. Oh my god! It's a red card for Fellaini! A red card! And... Now it's uh, definitely time to try to park the bus here. That was the last thing we needed. Fellaini, why, oh why? Why? A sub you on, and that's how you paid uh, me back. I'm not amused, Fellaini. I'm not amused at all. Just very disappointed. I thought you loved me, but you decided to show that you hate me. I don't deserve that, Fellaini. I don't. So, uh, yeah, I guess this will be the way we're trying to park the bus, playing defensively structured, uh, a bit more defensive mining uh, instructions, trying to uh, tackle harder, and so on. Uh, we have about six minutes of ordinary time, and then probably a shitload of uh, extra time. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait. Looking at the clock, staring at the clock, four minutes of extra time. And the clock is ticking and ticking and ticking. Look at this, it's almost one minute over the extra time limit. And that's the full time whistle. Uh, this is a very, very good result for us. We didn't plan play brilliant, but still feel like we dominated the game. We created so many more chances than them. We're definitely going to have a talk here to, to Mr. Fellaini and they're going to tell him that I am disappointed in you for getting sent off. Really disappointed. I'm definitely going to, to find him after the game. And uh, But yeah, other than that, that was a really, really good result for us. Let's uh, take a look here at the league table. And at the same time, Juve actually lost some points here versus Lazio at home versus Lazio. Uh, that's a good result for us. Which uh, brings us to this league table, where we currently are four points behind Juve. So, I mean, this is basically us uh, getting revenge for for not taking three points up against Fiorentina. Kind of equal, equal its out. But, I mean, if we would have managed to beat Fiorentina, we would really be breathing down Juve's neck. We are really getting closer and closer uh, against them. And even if we don't manage to take them this season... Uh, maybe the next one is going to be the one, but uh, I mean, we're going to try every single game. And if you take a look here at the schedule, I mean, the top teams uh, is uh, Juve, Napoli, Novara, Roma, Inter, maybe Fiorentina also. And if you take a look at the schedule, we, we don't have that many of the tougher teams left. I mean, we have Novara and we have Napoli, but they are the only ones, I think. Did we miss somebody? Sampdoria, 8th place, 17th, 12th, 19th, 4th, that going to be a tough one, 10th, Kievo, 20th, last place in the league, 14th, 9th, 16th, 11th, and of course Napoli, top 3, and then Piscara at 18th. I mean, if you look at the games we have left, there are definitely quite a few, we almost have like all the bottom teams and quite a few teams down here. We should be able to take quite a few points from these games. It's going to be a lot of games we should be winning. Uh, but before that happens, we have something huge. Actually, I haven't talked about it in any previous episodes. But the, the draw for the Champions League knockout round happened. And it happened quite some time ago. I think it was like really long back. But I don't think I spe spoke about it. We got PSG. PSG. I mean, there's a lot of good teams left, but it's definitely quite a few teams that would have preferred over PSG. If you look at this, it's at least like five or six teams here I would have preferred rather than PSG. So, um, I mean, I'm glad we managed to go through the group stage. That was really good. But uh, it's going to be extremely hard for us to, to go through for this one. And you know what? You know what that means? Because take a look at what's the next game. The next game is the Champions League versus PSG. And that's going to be the next episode. And I know it. you don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss it. It's going to be a crazy game. But that's the next episode. And uh, this means it's over now for this one. So as always, thank you so much for, uh, for tuning in. And I hope I see you in the next episode versus PSG.